Hey everybody, welcome back. Hopefully you just got done watching part one of Opportunity Cost, okay? It was about Lisa and the lemonade stand. Or you could say it's about Lisa and the lemonade stand and Lisa and babysitting. It's a choice between the two, okay? And it's important that you saw it, but I'm gonna do a really quick recap of it right off the top, okay? And in this particular video, we're only gonna be evaluating the lemonade stand, okay? Now we're gonna to need to know about the babysitting to fully evaluate the lemonade stand, but this video fully focused on evaluating the lemonade stand. So here's what it was. She could have opened up a lemonade stand and made $150 in total revenue. Now, her cash outlay, the total amount of money she would have had to spend to open up the lemonade stand was $50. She would have gotten a rental company. They would have given her everything she needed. She just had to return everything at the end of the day, okay? So total cash outlay, $50. Total revenue, $150. So with that information, if we walked up to the accountant and we said, hey, did she make a profit if she opens up this, or is she, is she going to make a profit if she opens up the lemonade stand? Their answer is simple. It is a enthusiastic, it's an, an enthusiastic yes, okay? Why? Because the accountant is focused on just sh can she do it, okay? Not should she do it. In fact, I almost said it wrong. Maybe you kind of caught me right there. The accountant, once again, is only focused on can you do something, okay? They're not looking at alternatives at all. They just say, look, total revenue 150, cash outlay of 50, have you told me all the cash outlays? Yes, I've told you all the cash outlays. Hey, that's simple then, profit of $100. So this distance right here, and I'm using a black marker because we talk about being in the black, meaning making profits, okay? This right here, this amount is $100 of profit, okay? $100 of profit so 150 minus 50 that's the accountant's view absolutely she can open up the lemonade stand however if you ask the economist the same question and said hey is she going to be profitable is this a profitable endeavor the economist says well i got to know about the next best alternative because i'm all about decision making and when you make a decision you got to know about you know one thing versus something else okay there's no such thing as making a decision if you don't have some choice to be made so the economist says, what else could she have done? She could have babysat. And how much would she have made if she would have babysat? $120. And is there any explicit cost to babysitting? No. So the, sorry, the accounting profit, and yes, I mean, use the word accounting profit right now. The accounting profit of babysitting is $120. She would have made, it was, it was 10 hours of babysitting, $12 an hour, okay, maybe remember that from the last video, $120 in revenue, which is also accounting profit because there's no cash outlay to babysitting. So the economist, when asked, is it profitable to open up the lemonade stand? The economist does look at that $50, okay? That $50 of explicit cash outlay, but then says, hey, on top of that, the implicit cost of opening up the lemonade stand is that additional 120. So I've got 50, now I gotta go up another 120. So I'm gonna go up in total to $170, okay? So 100, sorry guys, it's a little bit messy. That's supposed to be 170, okay? So, is it profitable? Heck no, total revenues of 150, total cost of 120, she's gonna be in the red. How much is she gonna be in the red? By $20, that's $20 of loss. So the economist would say, no, it's not profitable to open up the lemonade stand. She's gonna get a loss, and here's what I have to say. Don't do it, because I'm all about should you or should you not do something. In fact, if we would have done the evaluation from the babysitting standpoint, okay, we would have gotten it, it would have shown to be profitable, even from an economist standpoint, by $20, right? Which makes a little bit of sense, okay? $20 of loss means the alternative would have earned $20 of profit. So what should she do? Lemonade stand, babysitting. The answer is babysitting, okay? Because that one gives you an economic profit. By the way, they both give you an accounting profit. She can do both, but what should she do? The one that gives her a positive amount, that gives her a positive profit, and that one is babysitting. Hopefully that made sense to you, and hopefully that really <laughs> puts, a, puts a tie on it, okay? A ribbon on it, if you will, and really helps you understand that concept. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.